purifying flame. Bring all the blame. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Welcome back to Momichi's Chapter Challenge! I'm here with Mark so I can demonstrate to him her double jumping combat prower. prowess. Powers. Okay. Austin Prowess. Yeah, baby! <laughs> yeah! Abysmo Island, spelled with an I, and then when the cha and there it is, spelled with an I, but when the chapter comes up, it's spelled with a Y, and in the subtitle, and there it's spelled with an I, but in the subtitles, it's spelled with an I, but in the, ch when the day blah 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 comes up, it's spelled with a Y, but they don't do the day blah 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 thing I, in chapter challenge, I don't think. Why? <laughs> Or, or if they do, um, then you'll see. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like they do. Miss me! There you go. So your plan was normally to show me just like one chat or what, one mission or whatever for for character. But you wanted to show me the difference here or something? Uh yeah, once the character's at full power. Yeah, Mimiji seems like she's gotten a bit stronger since Dragon Sword. Mimiji uh, does not have to have full Nympho Bar to cast a single Fireball, which still gives her Nympho points for hitting enemies with and heals her a small bit. As long as her bar is glowing like that, she can cast a single fireball. <laughs> now she's wearing her base outfit from Sigma 2, <laughs> which I had to unlock off screen. I didn't want to farm for abil uh, abilities and like power them up in terms of like actual attack power off screen. Since, oh, well, I mean, that's something you can technically do in Ninja Gaiden Sigma, but it's not something you can really do in uh, Sigma 2. It's like the ninja left. Ah, and as always, I'll keep an eye out for any silver scarabs I may have missed with Ryu. <laughs> Also, I'll, I'm going to show you something you can do in this chapter. I, something I could have technically done as Ryu, but uh, I didn't. Because most people that I see play this game online don't usually do the hide in the shadows and sneak up on the guy thing. Most people, when playing this game online, do that. Damn! And that's something you could have done as Ryu. But I don't see anything. But I see everyone do that. I was like, eh. Everyone fucking does that. <laughs> How about you die, and then you die, and then you die? When her arm glows red, you can charge an ultimate technique in the air. The whole charging ultimate techniques instantly with the arm glowing red thing pretty much replaces the uh, thing where you absorb essence. 
Все. Momiji has often gotten the fastest time. Like, if you look at the episode times for all of the Momiji chapter challenges, you'll notice that she has the slowest episode times out of all of them. Even during that one Ayane chapter where she was the only one to mess up the wall run jump twice. <laughs> and the only one to die against the boss of that chapter. Having to having to do that boss a second time, the the main chapter boss, not the uh, not the um, you know the the crystal skull boss. Whatever, I'm leaving. Whatever. She's kind of floating on top of. Yeah, she's not even touching it. Same. The same was with Ryu, but. I was trying to be quiet for the cutscene so I didn't point out some things. <laughs> I think part of the reason Momiji ends up having the smallest times is because her not her heavenly dragon Naginata does a shit ton of damage. And even though it's slower compared to other weapons, it has a lot of reach. And can you... He was already dead, but, you know. Extra points and... But like... Also, it gives me more... Key energy for that. Where Momiji really shines is against bosses, because bosses will usually take, like, a certain... Bosses will usually take a certain amount of hits, regardless of how much damage those hits actually did. <laughs> and, uh... And then... Kind of be like, no, you don't get to hit me anymore. So... Attacks that do more raw damage are better than... Are usually better than, uh, attacks that do a lot of small damage repeatedly. It's kind of it's kind of like how Mega Man is better at bosses in Mega Man and base than base is because of the charge shots. Right. Like base is usually DPS, but DPS don't DPS don't mean S when uh the bosses get hit by one shot and then have invincibility frames. You know what I mean? Yeah. But someone who can make the most out of that one shot. Well, they did. And that gave me back a lot of my health. Escape boom, from boom, the city. Boom, 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 boom. It is nice of them to light up the areas that are going to get hit by bombs. <laughs> it just made me laugh when, um... When Aaron was playing Sonic Adventure 2, and like, <laughs> he just was like, it's the city escape, and then he just sing and starts singing out of nowhere. It's like, follow me, set me free. It was like, and Aaron and Dan's like, what are you doing? He's <laughs> like, dude, don't you know? I'm the biggest Sonic fan. <laughs> it's like, what is like, Dan's like, where is this coming from? <laughs> Slide and shoot and slide. And shoot and slide and shoot and slide and shoot and slide. Shoot, 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 Unfortunately, shoot, shoot. her fire arrows don't do as much damage as we use explosive arrows. Makes sense. And there's another helicopter. Ayane and Ryu are the best equipped for taking out these helicopters because Ryu has 
By this point, Ryu has explosive arrows, and Ayane always has explosive shurikens. Uh, Kasumi is the one least equipped to deal with these damn things, because Kasumi just throws, like, shuriken blades, and they do the least damage. Right. Of course, Mumiji can do stuff like that to help throw off their targeting, though sometimes they can still hit you. If I still had some key left and didn't waste it, I could spend it on uh, slowing down time to aim while in the air. Oh yeah, Breath of the Wild style. Even though this came out before Breath of the Wild. Wild style. I like that. <laughs> Wait, wasn't that the one girl in the Lego movie? Yes, yes it was. Breath of her style. <laughs> oh. There it goes! <laughs> no. Oh, you asshole. <laughs> I was just thinking about the robot chicken skit where, like, um. <laughs> where Kano pulls out a guy's heart and then, like, <laughs> it goes into a whole thing where, like, uh. Where, like, some surgeons are like, Damn it, you will live! And they're, like, putting the heart back in. And he goes through, like, physical therapy. Like, months of physical therapy. And it's like... And it's like... Oh, and then, like, Johnny Cage is back at the, uh... <laughs> at the fight. And Kate is like... It's like, I'm glad you recovered. Finish him! She just pulls out the heart again! <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> Well, I mean, how else, you, how else are you going to explain how these characters keep on fighting, you know? <laughs> uh, though I can't explain what, how you would come back from your whole head being pulled off. Ow! Yikes, fire! God dang, I mean, block my fire. Where did he... Fuck. Damn it! You don't get key energy from hitting people with your arrows. Which is kind of bullshit, honestly. Yeah. Here come these assholes! Ow! Look at that! Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, these jetpackers are really... doing a good job of fighting you. Holy crap! Look at all that fire! Their range is bullshit. Like I said, they're like those one enemies from the Game Boy game with the flamethrowers. Which, by the way, the flamethrowers were a device they carried on their back as, like, two little things that shot fire. Wow, that sounds really similar to what you're fighting. Hang on it. Normally she moves on to other grounded enemies when it's... And now almost all your health is gone. Great. What the Holy fuck? crap! The fuck? The f I don't. I was not even close to that. I got sucked into that like a fucking vacuum. Oh my that was bullshit. Gosh, what is happening? 
bullshit. That's what's happening. These fuckheads. I wanted to use my air combo against them because this is like the best place to do it. Since they're not hovering over top shit that I can't jump over. What the? How did I miss? He was right fucking there! How did that miss? Ah, uh, enough with the fire! And the flames! We will carry on! What the? I think! Look at that range he has! That is bullshit! So far! And when he's not doing that, he's pelting me with fucking missiles. While I'm fighting in enclosed space. Oh spaces. my gosh, this is nuts! What is this? Damn it. Oh, how was I supposed to see that? That is bullshit! Hey. This never takes me this fucking long. What is happening? This is like the reverse of the damn fucking T-Rex. It is! This has never been this bullshit for me. I don't know what is ha- I'm using charged arrows because charged arrows have an arcing fire that can hit other enemies. It's like, I'm done trying to show off. Fuck you guys, just die. Oh, but once they're on land, they're instantly immune to my arrows. For no reason. Oh, holy crap, that was fast. Like, I'm here, fire now. What the fuck? What, you want fire across the whole area? You got it! Hey, missile dude! Knock it off! What the? Get back here! Just fucking die, bastard! Ugh, the fuck was that? That. That should not have taken that fucking long. That really shouldn't have. It's just, it, it, the, it's, it, the game is getting back at you for being like, Mimiji's Let's Plays are always shorter than everyone else's. She does such a great job. And then death, death, death. Oh, watch. This will still be the shortest one. <laughs> You'll be like, oh, wow. She died a billion times. And she still beat it faster somehow. It's because she does a shit ton of damage. When, when it comes to combat heavy games, the fastest characters are always the ones that can deal the most damage the quickest. That's just, that's just how it goes. Even if they have the slowest movement speed, the faster they can get through combat, the easier, the faster they end up being. Nice. Every character has a spin attack like that, but Hers has the most reach. I see you over there, you and your creepy glowy eyes. Oh, 
One. Two. Two! I think you got him. <laughs> He's like, I learned from Ryu! Oh. That explains a lot. Missiles! Yay! Ow. Haha! Haha! <laughs> well, I think she's already demonstrated she didn't need no pull. <laughs> okay, I think he's meaty bits now. Yeah, but that topped off her key. That topped off her key bar. <laughs> this is like meat chunks on the ground. And with a topped off key bar. Oh! That attack uh, got that other guy over there, even though she wasn't aiming for him. Okay, now that you're past the, the jetpacks, you seem you do seem to be moving through this faster. Itty bitty meaty bits! <laughs> I wonder if she would have gotten kidnapped in um Dragon Sword. In Dragon Sword if she was at, at, at this point. <laughs> at this level? Yeah. No. Like, Alright. Now we're going to go Oh gosh, she's killed everyone! <laughs> at that point she was still training with a sword. Oh, by the way, this weapon, the, the Heavenly Dragon Naginata, it was carved out of a dragon tailbone, just like Ryu's sword was carved out of a dragon's fang. Cool. Well, I should have realized I stood no chance. By the way, I've only upgraded her health once. Huh. And flip, run, flip! And here we go. One, two... Who's gonna have to do? See, I get I get more Nimpo gauge that way. Itty, you turn men into itty bitty bits. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! That was a level 3 charge. I, oh no! I fucking hate that move. Uh, it's so cheap. Time to die, dog! Oh, 
Oh, you... That's also cheap. That... He just jumped right on. Grab me now! Grab me now! Grab me now, asshole! <laughs> Oh, what's that? You were trying to jump me from across the room. <laughs> Fuck off with that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Oh, that's satisfying. Oh, I'm sorry, was that shield supposed to do jack shit? Holy crap! You're destroying everything! Steel and bone! It also helps that her weapon has, like, one of the longest reaches out of any weapon in this game. She's pretty amazing! I remember way back when you were playing Dragon Sword saying that she would become the most competent character. <laughs> uh, she would become the most competent uh, ninja outside of Ryu himself yeah. in, the, in the village. <laughs> uh, his shield flipped out and then he flipped out. Yeah, those shields might as well not even exist, they go away so fast. Couple hits and they're gone. Oh, and by the way, you land a lot of hits. <laughs> so a couple hits means like nothing. Speaking of nothing, eh, I won't upgrade my health. Holy shit! Holy crap! Dang on it. Holy wow. And I can still do that to knock her on her ass. If it'll actually if it'll actually work! Oh, that didn't knock her on her ass. Not that one either. Not that one either. Just when the game decides. Oh, that was the move I was talking about with Ryu. Well, I guess I got to see it. Almost like, I don't want to go up in the air. Being in the air is scary. Damn, that's a good amount of damage. That's a lot of damage. Now that's a lot of damage! Flex taping, fixing that shit! <laughs> I saw this... What, what, is, what is she? A uh, greater, greater fiend. fiend. I saw this greater fiend in half! And then I used flex tape. Oh! Oh, that didn't work. We're gonna <laughs> need a lot of flex tape. Well, to be fair, that... The Super Star Wars, everyone! <laughs> Even though, technically, it was a sub-weapon in the NES Ninja Gaiden first. <laughs> and that is why she tends to have the lowest times. Because she does that shit when fighting. Oh! There's guys here. Okay. <laughs> I was focused on the uh, jet hackers. 
Jetpackers! Here to announce the new football team, the Jetpackers! <laughs> they cheat with jetpacks! Bet you didn't see that coming. Sorry, I couldn't see Mamiji because, uh, blood everywhere. <laughs> well, actually, I got missiled in the face. Ow! Ow, like that, and that. Yeah, stop that. Actually, you know what? Oh! There you go. Take that, assholes. I still haven't upgraded our health past once. <laughs> She's so powerful. And yet, I usually get the highest scores. Uh, when playing on my own time, I usually, on my personal file, I usually get the highest scores with Ayane. So, I'm trying to think. Is this the most violent game we've ever played on our channel? Probably. It feels I, I, like I, it. I find it funny. I always find it hilarious how every Devil May Cry game starts with a disclaimer. This disclaimer. This game contains scenes of intense of intense violence against demons. Doesn't it? It doesn't. Let me just let me just tell you this much. Devil May Cry 3 is probably the bloodiest game in that series. Wow. I'm trying to think of the most violent thing in that, uh, that I can think of in like Devil May Cry 3. I think it's mostly stuff in cutscenes, like when Dante gets impaled with his own sword by Virgil. Yeah, stuff like that is usually what I think of. I mean, the demons, like, what do they look like when they die? Like, do they just kind of. Uh, they turn to dust in that one. Yeah, so, uh, not exactly as violent as turning men into meaty bits! Yeah, try to grab me when I'm covered in flames. Oh! Get wrecked! Oh, I think I think I ended up taking off his, their arms when I was cloaked in flames. Setting them up for a... that. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't care how, like, battle-hardened these guys are. There's gonna be some of them that would just be like... No, please don't! <laughs> well, if you were playing the vanilla version, they would in lower difficulty. Uh, yeah! Uh, Ninja and, Gaiden. And, and then you said, what is this, Ninja Gaiden for babies? It's like Ninja Gaiden, the realistic version, where people see what these characters are doing, they're like, I don't want to die like this! I don't want to die! <laughs> I mean, look at that. You got a, you got mad respect to these enemies, though. They got crazy balls, and there they are on the ground. <laughs> Get the. No means no. Ah! Okay. You, know, you think there would be like one soldier? In this whole game, they'd be like, "Yeah, I don't want to die like that. I can just put my weapon down and and uh, run the hell out of here." <laughs> I know what I think. There is a golden scarab I missed in this chapter. Is for you. Oh well, uh, I'll grab it as Momiji and I'll just edit it in on the on the top thing, like I usually do. See, doing the chat. No, wait. I think I actually grabbed it. Yeah, I gra I grabbed it. Okay. I thought I might have missed that one. 
Here come the stealthy enemies. There goes a stealthy enemy. Yeah, I thought I might have missed that one, but I actually got that one. Yo! Oh, I'm sorry. I thought stealth was supposed to... Cloak was supposed to improve your chances of surviving. Nope. Not against Mobiji. Mobiji! <laughs> Whatever you say, Smash Announcer. Grim Ninja? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I missed one. That's another reason why Ryu should be in Smash. Ryu versus Grim Ninja? <laughs> Ryu versus Greninja versus Sheik. Yeah. Ninja Showdown! Oh, and here's another reason. Um, <laughs> He's just a half a torso now. So, Ryu is in... Ryu is part of the Dead or Alive universe. He's actually in Dead or Alive. So, um... A Fatal Fury character also guest starred in Dead or Alive. Aha! Uh -huh. the, the one that's not in... the That's not in that one Smash stage that everyone's all pissed off about. <laughs> Because, you know, Smash is for good boys and girls. And Bayonetta fans. Wait, what? Well, they were they were kind of forced to redo Bayonetta's design a little bit. Holy crap, there are no enemies, just dead enemies. There are no enemies, only that, uh, death. skeleton up there being a bit of foreshadowing. Oh, uh, actually, wait a minute. Hold up a second. Doesn't that look like... Oh, it is! That's the boss from Sigma 1! The one you did the Skeletor voice with! Oh, yeah! No, wait! Here, hit, uh, wait, here's a good one, hit this one! Thank you! Yeah. Why did I want that? <laughs> oh, that was a crazy boss. Nope, rejected, now you both die. Goodbye, head. They don't have heads anymore, Meiji. I don't care, I want more! She was trained by Ryu, and you've seen how Ryu is. Ryu, the king of overkill. I will be the queen of overkill. Ah uh, yes, now I fight my true enemy. Dead bodies. Uh, you mean like zombies? No. <laughs> just, just dead bodies. Ah, crap, get the fuck Sheep, off. Sheep, grab, move. It's like... Ryu is falling right into my trap, but Mamiji is with him, sir! Uh, fuck! <laughs> well, if you had a copy of this game, we could play Ninja Trials online. Co-op. And it would be much easier to unlock the character costumes. Well, here we are, Mike. Oh yeah, she'll just randomly start running while you're at the feet sometimes. Run. For no apparent reason. And down she goes! You're right, this is like a kind of lame monster hunter fight. 
it moves like a monster hunter, and it, it kind of makes me think of like Devil Joe, except. Yeah. Oh, I I just knocked it over, and then I think that's the end of the fight. Holy crap! No wonder you wanted to fight <laughs> to show me this. I wanted to show you how much like how less bullshit this is with Momiji. I didn't even jump at the at the front of the head. Like after its legs turned invulnerable, I jumped from like the back of the throat and spun, and that and that one hit made her flinch. And then I did it again, and she flinched and fell over. Yes. Yeah, uh, in this game, you don't get ranked Master Ninja, Greater Ninja, blah, blah, blah. You get ranked S-A, da, 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 da. Moment S is basically Master Ninja. Momiji, canonically, is actually ranked as a Greater Ninja, which is one level below Master. Damn. And keep in mind that... She's also a shrine maiden, so she doesn't even ninja in our full time. She's not a full time ninja. She's dividing her duties between. She's part time ninja. Yes. <laughs> and she made one rank below maximum as a part time Kunichi while being basically a full time shrine maiden. Damn. <laughs> but seriously, I would like to see an alternate um, Dragon Sword cutscene with like th they tried to kidnap this Mamiji, and she's like, "Yes, take her." Oh gosh, no! <laughs> well, um, in Dragon Sword, if you manage to beat the first boss of the game as Momiji, well, yeah, when when Momiji fights that dragon in Dragon Sword, if you've already beaten the game once, then then you can have Momiji actually beat that dragon, and if you do so, it launches the game into Master Kanichi mode, where you play as a different character. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, I guess that's the video. Yeah. See you... I guess I won't be in the next one of these. Yeah, well, not in the next one of the Momiji ones, no. Bye!